here we go. So, so, tell so, us, what are you for? so this is Kamala <laughs> Devi on day what nine of of uh, summer camp, mm -hmm. and I'm in a love hut, and I'm gonna hand the computer to you. I want you to get the outside, just show the outside. So, yay, yay, and then look at the cute. There, oh, there's our friend Shauna, and hi Nicholas, Nicholas and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Oh, we got kisses. <laughs> so I. I thought it was a love hut, not is. a kissing I know, hut. I'm wearing way too many clothes. <laughs> it's it's summer and summer and so It's yeah. like a little gingerbread house. I don't get rain on my computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Finish her, finish her vlog. Okay. Thank you. I love you guys. Have fun at the movie. I think it should be like a gingerbread hut. With Hansel and Gretel. So this little love hut is in the middle of the forest here, and um, it's dedicated to love making. I actually feel a little funny wearing so many clothes, like even though, um, you know, I'm here. I'm here with my computer instead of uh, with a lover. But I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, the 20, 20 year anniversary that the celebration that Zag has been doing um, today, it's touched me really deeply. Um, it, it cracked my, my heart open. I felt a lot of tears. It, almost like the culmination of the entire journey, you know, just burst, exploded <laughs> inside of me today. And you guys are being too noisy. <laughs> um, so... We got to watch a slideshow, and this is 20-year history wherein they would do all kinds of experiments. Like at one point they did, um, I mean, naked body painting, mud experience, oil experience, all kinds of um, parties and gatherings, and while Adam and I were watching this like slideshow, we're like, "Hey, it looks like San Diego. This is a lot of the similar things that we've um, we've explored with in our community." Um, and then they also have some radical art, you know, dance and theater. One one art project, um, they have a huge pool, and in one art project, they actually sink a piano, and people go underwater. And um, try to have like a like a dolphin or a porpoise experience where they just listen the way fish, you know, hear sounds. Um, so that that was an interesting adventure. Um, but you know, through the years, these are some of the highlights, some of the beautiful highlights. And there's also a lot of you know challenges, regrets, lowlights, struggles, a lot of struggles. Um, and uh, we got to hear the whole the whole journey, the healing journey of a community that's trying to um, go against the psychic agreements to, of East Germany. And we also um, heard, you know, very honestly, very transparently about some of the challenges within communities, like the breakups and the goodbyes. And I think what you know, what touched me the most is how people, when they came into this field, would feel such resonance, such belonging, such possibility, that they would totally dedicate their life to come here and live here and work and serve. But, but there's a, you know, a really beautiful core group of very healed people that do a lot of deep inner work and they come here um, because they have a vision of an of a not just a new future not like a possible humanity but like they're willing to experience it now they're willing to not wait until they're perfect but or, or the community's worked out all its kinks they're just like you know what this makes more sense to me than the broken society that I come from and they invest in it and they heal and work and grow as a community. So I've been really impressed with, um, the, the visionaries that are here. Um, it's like 
it's like this poly saying I, I often tell people who are trying to establish a, like a, a perfect partnership so that once they have security, then they can open the relationship. It's like, you're never going to open the relationship or it's never going to be perfect. Um, and a lot of people come to this community knowing that the community has its quirks and challenges. Um, but they know that their contribution and they're showing up and they're working on themselves is going to raise the vibration and they're willing to be a part of an experiment as opposed to saying like, Hey, let's wait for the results. And once you have it figured out, then I'll join. And, um, today was sort of like a day of finding out the, um, results of an experiment, at least, you know, the, the results so far, because it was a retrospective of how how many people live here and like, you know, that over 70 or 80 percent of the energy comes from the land, the a similar percentage of of food that's actually grown here in the in the organic gardens and traded with the local people. And so they had, um, you know, some statistics and some celebrations about all that they've accomplished. Um, and I. I saw in that reflection um, an invitation. Like, this is really the kind of place that I could come and live. I mean, I know I don't speak German, and I can't stand the snow in the winter, so um, it's likely not a, a good match for, for, you know, me, all of me. But I definitely had a sense of, like, this field is so resonant with me that I felt home and it's, it's not the, it's not the people, it's the permission. And though I miss, you know, my friends in, in, in San Diego, in a sense, um, I also get the sense that as we travel and, and study and find more resonant fields that I'm not like mm, married to San Diego. I'm more expanding my sense of humanity and feeling more like a citizen of the world and wanting to find resonance. Um, and I'm not attached to where that's coming from. Um, and particularly feeling that for my son as well. He, uh, uh, he's really getting a bigger global perspective and learning nonverbal communication, which is probably the most, you know, important type of communication for his socialization and just really, really enjoying, um, this very intensified taste of Zeg. So I hope that, um, there's something here for you and I hope that you're feeling resonant with your community. Um, and I look forward to doing more, um, experiments with you when I come home. <laughs>